Alright, well we're back at the project and uh, we got the uh, the buckets here ready to go. But we're not ready for it yet. Um, so last night when uh, when I finished, um, I was dealing with a lot of muck. Plus uh, we got that issue with the uh, with the uh, thumb being in the wrong um, controller and being backwards. So um, those of you that were watching so far, <laughs> it's not that I don't know how to use it. Just wanted to just clarify that. It's everything is backwards, so I made it really awkward. So, um, anyways, we finished off here. We got everything down. Now what we got to do is where the pond's going to be is actually back there. So I actually have to clear out a bit more area over there. I almost sunk. I think you guys saw that a couple times. Uh, I'm plagued with swamp this year. It has been a really wet season, and. Uh, the ground is super, super saturated this year, and uh, actually, I'm not sure. I, on the way here, I saw the township actually raised it to uh, mid-level um, for forest fires. I'm not sure about that. Anyways, so dug a, a hole because they want to bury this stuff in, and that way they have access to some more soil. I dug a hole here, which is about six feet, and uh, the water coming in here is um, unbelievable this is from overnight and I don't know if you guys can see right there there's actually an underwater spring that I hit and the water is coming through there's a lot of groundwater here which is good for the pond um, just really sucks for working in because uh, I mean you can see here just how sloppy everything is here and it's clay so it's slippery which makes it worse. There's no traction on the on the tracks, and uh, which enables us to get uh, stuck a little fish a little quicker. So we're gonna have to use our old trick and uh, use some uh, some trees for padding and uh, or bridge, whatever you want to call it, portage, so we can get into that area there and um, knock the trees down, get everything ready. I go the mission right now for the first couple hours is to get things tidied up, organized. Um, some of these trees I'm going to keep here so that way I can use them for the padding to get over there. Some of them I'm going to put away. I want to get this area, immediate area, cleaned up right away because it's really bothering me. So if we can get that all buried in there and then uh, cover it up, I'm going to dig a second hole and uh, so we can put everything in. So we'll do that. I forgot I had a list this morning of things to bring and I forgot the tripod again so I'm not gonna keep you guys in the cab this time I'm gonna see if I could prop you up somewhere outside and, uh, and uh, I got a little gimbal for that came with the GoPro and maybe I can prop you up somewhere so you can see and uh, yeah let's see what we can do if not then we'll have to stick you guys back in the cab for now so and that will be time lapse because of course we got music and everything playing in there. So let's see what we can do. So here we go. Well, that didn't work out. <laughs> I was getting everything ready. I propped you guys up and I was uh, leaving it just to get stuff uh, set up and let the uh, excavator warm up. And I came back and found you guys sitting in mud and falling over. So we're gonna keep you in the cab for now. Um, but I wanted to show you, so, on this one here, let me just get this down. So it's actually here. There we go. So to close the bucket, it's the same as the other one. But the only thing that is really messing it up, I could deal with it on this side, but logic would say that if you were closing the bucket, you would push this this way and it would close the thumb. But that isn't the case. So I actually have to do this, and then do the opposite to do it, and then to release, I have to do the opposite. So, I mean, I suppose if I had this excavator for a long period of time, I would get used to it, obviously, but being that it's on this side, here, and you can see there's one that's actually here, and it is, you can hear it working, but it's not controlling the thumb. So given that I'm used to it being on that side and the logical way of doing things, um, this has really thrown me off yesterday. 
<laughs> so I apologize if you saw in video and it looked like I was a novice and didn't know what I was doing. Well, truth be told, I didn't know what I was doing using this controller. It's just throwing me off and it looked horrible with the client and uh, I kept telling them what happened. Um, but anyways, we are past that point. So now let's get this cleaned up. I'm gonna prop you guys up in here. We got a proper stand in here for you guys. So we'll get you set up and uh, get started. Here we go.
right, well, we got, uh, let's see, we're going to spin this around. I got no, no Kimball or anything on right now. I'm just holding it. But anyways, we have filled the hole, made a dent in everything. We moved the roots over there. Um, I did find a way that if we scrape some of the, the top layer off, it's giving me a little bit more of a, so a harder um, surface to work on. Right now what we're going to do is we have one tree here. I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see it. You see how it's pointed. And of course the house is right there. And then we have everything else to the garden and everything. So I spoke with the homeowner and we're going to try and drop it this way. They said the uh, worst case scenario, you might get a couple branches may hit the house or the deck or something like that, but it won't hurt it. So we're going to knock that down. And then the next step is to get out with a chainsaw. I want to cut up some of these into small pieces and we're going to start building a, a pad across so we can get over there and start uh, start cleaning that out and getting it ready to start digging for the pond. Um, there's still a bunch of brush over here but I'm using a lot of this stuff right now once I get it organized to make a pad across and then uh, we'll start knocking down those trees. So uh, here we go.
All right, well, it's the next day. <laughs> I worked till late last night. It was dark when I was done. And uh, I don't know, it was, it was the same thing. We're just cleaning up. So it's uh, just kind of repetitive content. So I just kind of left the camera alone and uh, kept going. But today, um, black flies are brutal. I've already got two stuck in my eye. So <laughs> sunglasses it is. Anyways, um, we have a little bit left to clean up. So we actually finished the holes. They're all full, buried. Got them some dirt, um, which is what they wanted. We're gonna clean up what we can here right now, immediately. Um, he marked out where he wants the, uh, the pond. <laughs> and it's uh, right in the most boggiest area, which I understand. It's uh, where you want it, because it's guaranteed water. But it makes it challenging, so. Yesterday I had, uh, I think I have that on video, we had made a pad to get into this side, so we're okay with that. Um, this stuff here, we're going to clean out, there's stumps and everything, I'm going to get all that, rid of all that stuff immediately. Then we're going to swap the bucket and get ready to dig. And uh, so basically, from what I can tell from his markings, the pond is going to come from that, make sure you guys are seeing that. From that tape it's going to come along go all the way to here to that tape come across there's an orange mark on the log and then we're going to come across there's a few trees that still have to come out and uh but this happens to be extremely this luckily this area here seems to be a little more compact which is good I think we might have to take this guy out too. Anyways, we'll figure that out as we go. But uh, this seems to be a little drier. This here is complete swamp. Um, you can see, just looking at it, it is. Ugh. So I'm hoping that I can get over as much as I can. Maybe sit on here, hopefully, and. Uh, Hopefully I can reach to be able to pull that in and do it that way. So we're gonna see how this turns out. Um, I'm just worried about this, the boggy areas. It's all I'm worried about. It's just the water and sinking. But, uh, if we can get past that, well, the rest of this is gravy. So once we get that dug, then we'll kind of backtrack, get all this pad taken away. We're gonna stack everything in that corner by where um, we buried everything. And then we'll spread whatever dirt and soil that we pull out and uh, try and give them a decent grade. If the, the uh, stuff we pull out from the pond is too wet, I've already explained to them that I'll distribute it out, but that's pretty much all I can do because I'll just get stuck. <laughs> so anyways, I did find a tripod. It was sitting in the dump truck. I couldn't find it, which is why I forgot it yesterday. And uh, so we're going to put you on a tripod. My GoPro has been acting weird, and I don't know if anybody else has been having this issue before, but it, uh, it seems to be overheating a lot. So I don't know if I dropped it one too many times or ran over it one too many times, but uh, anyways, it's kind of... Uh, doing his thing sometimes so i'm gonna find a shady spot to put you guys in and keep you on a tripod for today and see what we can uh, get on footage and the goal is to get everything done today so by the end of the day we'll have everything graded in everything cleaned it up and have his pond in the corner and give him the old canada brush control finish hopefully as long as we don't sink <laughs> and i'm kidding about the sinking but anyways we'll uh we'll get her done so let's get moving
right, so everything is uh, cleaned up. The only thing that's left that's messy is obviously the pad that we're using. We pulled the couple of trees that need to come out and uh, everything else is cleaned up. So that means we are ready to dig. So I'm just going to switch the bucket over here. The bucket switched up and then uh, actually okay. grab a quick bite to eat and then we'll get started. So here we go.
right, so from what I can tell, the tripod idea sucks right now because you guys aren't getting a proper angle of what's going on. And uh, when I went and checked on the camera, um, it was extremely hot. So it was gonna overheat any minute. And I tried to put you in the shade, but of course it moved. So I'm gonna keep you here in the cab. We'll do time lapse and uh, get this thing going. So here we go.
so we've refueled, <laughs> rebatteried, and uh, we are uh, still working on the pond. Um, because we're so restricted, because of the position of the pond, we're restricted with space. So uh, I've been piling dirt in one side pretty much right now. So I'm going to try and spread some of that dirt out, get it out of the way. Time is ticking, so I want to make sure that this pond is dug and finished so that way I can spend the rest of the evening leveling out the dirt and calling it uh, calling it a day. And uh, so we're going to go right now. We're going to take this one here. We're going to level most of it. I'll just push it out as much as possible and uh, give us some more space to work. And uh, then we're going to start doing, I got the, pretty much the shape in. Uh, we're going to start digging out the center, getting it out as quick as possible, finish up uh, moving and spreading the dirt, and then I could finish the outskirts of the uh, the shape because I can't do that any other way unless I do it from the edge. So, uh, yeah, so we're going to keep going. It's going well. It's looking good. Here we go.
right, so it's the next morning. Um, I worked till late, late, late last night. I think it was close to 10 o'clock when I finished. Anyways, um, we weren't able to get everything completed, but uh, the pond is dug and uh, now we're just spreading the dirt and uh, cleaning up. So, I don't know, the, uh, I don't know if anybody's ever had problems with this. If you have, let me know. But my GoPro seems to be, for some reason, overheating an awful lot. And uh, more than usual. Usually could take a little more abuse. But anyways, um, if you guys have had this problem, let me know. Because it's one of the issues and I just didn't bother with it yesterday after. But uh, anyways, we have the pond is dug. And the customer's really happy with it. It's already gaining water, which is awesome. So now we're just working on leveling everything out, cleaning everything up, and pretty much finishing up for the day. And I am hoping and praying that uh, it doesn't rain, because it's supposed to rain today. So anyways, we're gonna get started. So here we go.
Well, um, we are finished. I don't know when the battery, I only know when, uh, when I review the footage, but uh, it took us a bit longer than I expected. I had a few more touch-ups that I wanted to get done. Then uh, I wanted to, we cleaned the uh, excavator off and anyways, so everything is uh, is done. The water, or the, the ground was a little more saturated than I thought. So the clay was a little uneasy. So we had to back drag everything, but uh, she's done. Everything's cleaned up, got the pile, all the mess was cleaned up that was there. Everything's there. He has to put in some um, weeping tile to finish it off here. So I left it open for him. And uh, another one over here too. But, uh, he's gaining quite a bit of water already in the pond. Brought him a rock over. His wife wanted a rock. So he found him over there. Brought it over. But yeah, everything is the rough grade. Ready for him to do his landscaping and what he wants to do. So um, hopefully he's happy. I know they were really happy yesterday. And uh, yeah. So if you guys enjoyed the video, um, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, thanks very much for uh, for all the subscribers and all the support that we've had already. And uh, we're on to the next job. We'll do some. We'll finish up with some drone footage. Take care, guys.